now that I hopefully have woken you up, are you ready to talk about assignment two some more? Yes? Did anyone actually read through assignment two? Someone kind of sort of did. I'm very impressed. Usually I get complete silence. In fact, when, uh, when I was working out in industry, one of my employees, when I would have meetings, I would ask questions sometimes and it would be silent. So he went ahead and he took a recording of a cricket. So when it was silent, he'd start playing the recording. It actually got people to talk. I kind of think I should do that in class sometimes. All right. So for discussing assignment two, I'm actually going to be sitting down because I have a number of things to show you. So again, in brief, what we're going to be doing is, or actually what you are going to be doing is you are going to be designing an interface for a scavenger hunt. More specifically for ordering t-shirts for the scavenger hunt. All of your requirements are here in the top of the form. So FIO is hosting a scavenger hunt for teams between three and five people. All team members must, must wear matching shirts with FIU logo and team name. Each team leader must place only one order for all of the team's shirts, and you've been asked to design that interface. Here is all the information that you must collect. You also must keep in mind that each shirt is $10, and your form, your interface, must have at least a placeholder to calculate the total cost. Also keep in mind that there are other things in addition to number of shirts that will go into the total cost, which is shipping. So keep that in mind. Remember what I said last time. All of the requirements are not just in the numbered list. Make sure you read it carefully. I will be looking very carefully to see how well you adhere to the requirements. All right now, one question that I very often get when students start working on this is, does it all have to be on one screen, on one page? Yes. For this assignment, it does. One page. If you make it multiple pages, I will take points off. Anyone know why? Because that doesn't meet the requirements. In this case, I am your client. My requirement, like it or not, is it must be on one page. You'll understand more when you try to get into this as to why some students want multiple pages. All right, so your first task, and this is something that hopefully we will have time to start in class, is you're going to create a sketch of your interface on, remember what I told you? An, an actual piece of paper. I should have brought a prop. Right? I know you guys aren't used to using that anymore. I know I'm killing trees. It's awful. So an actual piece of paper, actually three pieces of paper. I want you to design at least three different interfaces that meet all of those requirements. And then you will need to choose one of them. You will choose the best one. Now make sure you take notes on why you chose the best one. And you need to be explicit about how it ties in with what we've learned in this course. For example, usability, the uh, usability principle, excuse me, the pr uh, design principles and usability guidelines. Well, we've already talked about short-term and long-term memory and locus of attention. You have to explicitly tie those in. 